Uh, where is college game day going for week number eight? So, of course, last week uh, we said that there was an option for them to go to Tennessee, Alabama. Uh, yeah, I didn't think they would go right back to Knoxville, but that is such a monstrous matchup that they ended up doing it anyway. Here is what I've got. Uh, UCLA and Oregon are both guaranteed to be undefeated. They are both coming off of buys. It is Chip Kelly's return to Eugene, et cetera, or another return to Eugene. Um this is an interesting one uh, to me because there's not a ton of hype around the Pac-12, and we did already see Oregon get blasted by Georgia early. But this seems like the most likely destination because I don't know how many opportunities game day is going to have to go out to the Pac-12. So this is certainly an opportunity. They wanted to go to Utah this week. Utah did not hold up their end of the deal. Uh, next week, Texas at Oklahoma State. If Oklahoma State, of course, gets a win over TCU and Texas beats Iowa State, that could be an option. Uh, Kansas State at TCU next week. Uh, you know, if Kansas State, of course, uh, well, Kansas State, of course, wins. Uh, if TCU beats Oklahoma State, that's the biggest thing, I believe. Uh, you do have Minnesota at Penn State. That is the wideout at Penn State. I believe that's an ABC game. So, obviously, that would help with travel. If Minnesota goes ahead and wins at Illinois this weekend and Penn State beats Michigan, that could certainly be an option. Uh, that way you can celebrate both of those programs that, you know, have been good but not great over the past few years. Uh, but that would be a trip back to Happy Valley. Uh, you've got Mississippi State at Alabama. They have not been to Tuscaloosa. However, they have covered Alabama twice on the road. That could be tricky. Um but if State gets a win against Kentucky and Alabama beats Tennessee, would not surprise me to see that because that is a night ESPN game in Tuscaloosa next week. Syracuse at Clemson is an interesting one. Clemson, of course, has Florida State this week. Uh, okay, like we'll see. Um, I, I would imagine that they are going to win that game. Syracuse hosts NC State. If the Orange get the win over NC State, and remember they are probably – probably, without Devin Leary, the quarterback. If Syracuse gets the win, they will be 6-0. And Clemson will be, what, 6-0, 7-0? That could be intriguing. I think that's the... I I think that's going to be an ABC game next week. Uh, Not totally certain, but that is an interesting one. And uh, the last one that I wrote down, Marshall at James Madison. I, I don't know that you can do that now with Marshall looking so bad. But if you just want to celebrate James Madison... Uh, yeah, I mean, they visited James Madison when they were an FCS program. Uh, that that bunch is jumping right now. Uh, James Madison plays at Georgia Southern this weekend, or maybe it's the other way around. Uh, either way, they played Georgia Southern this weekend. If they can get that win, they'll be undefeated next week. Maybe you want to take a break from the bigger games. I doubt it. They've already gone to App State this year. Uh, my guess will be, here's my prediction. I think they go to UCLA, Oregon. I don't know that they're going to get a whole lot of other opportunities to do that. Uh, I don't think Penn State wins this weekend. I I don't know about Mississippi State, Alabama. That's interesting. But UCLA at Oregon feels like the right spot because I don't think they're going to get back out to the West Coast. So that is my prediction. UCLA at Oregon for week number eight. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.